From planes shaped like brains to vehicles designed to fly in space and in the skies, here are strange and mysterious aircraft. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host, American Eye, bringing to you another epic video. But first, a quick shout out goes to all you guys who left us some comments on our recent videos about the Freemasons. If you haven't seen already, be sure to check it out after watching this one. Leave us a comment in the comment section for your chance to get featured. Number 13. Laser Planes The US Air Force might have been watching a little bit too much Star Wars when they came up with this project. The Boeing Yao-1 was said to be equipped with a megawatt chemical oxygen iodine laser attached to the nose and started off promising. During a test, a high-powered laser beam successfully intercepted two launch missiles at the Edwards Air Force Base in California. It was determined that they weren't completely destroyed, and a laser 20 to 30 times more powerful was actually what they needed. This meant that they either had to build 20 or 30 more of these planes to shoot down a nuke, or this wasn't a feasible option. There are still some that believe that they could prove to be useful, but just extremely expensive. All the research just on this one prototype led to an estimated cost of $5.2 billion. Number 12. The X-37B Thanks to the combined efforts of DARPA, NASA, and the U.S. Air Force, the X-37 project will be put into effect in April of 2006. It's what's known as a reusable robotic spacecraft, which might certainly sound like something straight out of the future. While many aircraft might simply disintegrate when subject to the task of re-entering Earth's atmosphere, the X-37 has been a fairly reliable reusable aircraft. What makes this one fairly mysterious is that the Air Force wanted to develop their own spacecraft and decided to experiment with the X-37B that we see here. Ever since then, most of the activities of the X-37B have remained highly classified. The Air Force states that the project is an experimental test program to demonstrate a reliable reusable unmanned space test platform of the U.S. Air Force. Maybe Space Force is all too real, folks, and we're being kept in the shadows of what kind of technology our government is truly capable of. Number 11. The Antonov AN-225 Possibly the largest airplane ever constructed was the Antonov AN-225 Maria, which took flight in 1988. You can certainly tell the photographer probably went through a lot to get this photo. The aircraft was specifically designed to transport spacecraft such as the one we see here known as the Buran. How much does this behemoth weigh, you're probably asking? 628,000 pounds without the spacecraft, and it can reach speeds of 525 miles an hour. Since the end of the Cold War, it's been used for various other reasons and it still has a very good potential as a transport vehicle. In some cases, the US government even used it to transport military supplies to the Middle East. You can probably imagine this thing eats up quite a bit of gas. Number 10. The Lockheed F-104 Starfighter The Lockheed F-104 Starfighter was an interceptor aircraft primarily used by the US and other NATO-aligned countries such as Germany, Japan, and Turkey during the late 1960s. It set various world records for not only airspeed, but also altitude records as well. But all that extra power might have come at a cost for the safety of some pilots. A German Luftwaffe pilot had made several outspoken statements in opposition to the F-104. The airframe was constructed of stainless steel as well as titanium with a fuselage about two and a half times longer than the airplane's wingspan. Capable of reaching supersonic speeds, its main goal was to intercept enemy fighter planes quickly and effectively. It has been at the front lines of many different controversies during the Cold War, including the Taiwan Strait Crisis, the Berlin Crisis, as well as the Vietnam Conflict. It was also used by NASA as a space launch platform, but after far too many crashes took place, the F-104 only saw limited use. Number 9. The V-22 Osprey the government seems like they're starting to believe that the Osprey is a better alternative to the helicopter, and they aren't all afraid to put some money on it. It's not a plane or a helicopter, actually. It's what's known as a tilt-rotor aircraft, which is sort of both. The V-22 Ospreys cost about $72 million each, and the U.S. is looking to build at least 400 of these things total. It must be quite advanced, you would think. It combines the small landing spaces that helicopters have with the high speed and gliding capabilities of an aircraft. This makes them suitable to be deployed from aircraft carriers. They use a Rolls-Royce T406 engine that allows them to reach top speeds of 351 miles per hour. Maybe the military thinks the strange design will scare off the enemy soldiers? Who knows? Number 8. The Lockheed Martin P791 This aircraft almost looks like a flying brain or something. 
This is actually considered a tri-hull shaped hybrid aircraft and is supported by an aerodynamic lift. This was designed by the US Army but was modified to equip more cargo and can lift up to 18,000 kilograms or 20 tons. Each one of these things would cost taxpayers $480 million. Let's hope they don't put this thing on the battlefield. It looks like it would be an easy headshot. It almost appears to be the perfect plane though to transport NFL teams. Just stick a logo on it and it should be able to support all the players. More work was needed to be done though to get it just right. No word on whether or not the first flight took place, but it could revolutionize travel as we know it by being able to stay in air for 21 days. Number 7. The Saab Vegan Fighter after being manufactured by the Swedish automobile company for 20 years, 329 were produced. It's considered to be an all-weather fighter interceptor aircraft. This means it can handle the intense snowstorms that are often found in Sweden. Many airplane enthusiasts would tell you that this jet is rather unique compared to others used by Western countries. Saab embraced a turbofan engine for their new multi-role attack reconnaissance. It's been touted for having excellent landing capabilities while displaying good fuel efficiency. The takeoff distance seems to be rather effective to the point where they can maybe take off from some kind of local street if it had to. Number 6. The Bok TSR-2 $15 billion back in the time of the Cold War was rather expensive and certainly still is. The British wanted a reconnaissance aircraft that could deliver a tactical strike if needed. They wanted to be able to use jet technology that would be successful at accomplishing goals, but it was all easier said than done. Undercarriage vibration problems took place in at least a few flights and it was far from perfect. It even featured a thin film of gold on the cockpit canopy to protect the pilot's eyes during nuclear flashes. As the Americans were developing the F-111 project, it almost seemed as though it was time to count their losses and move on. Many feel as though the British Ministry of Defense was setting too high of a standard on the TSR-2. Some feel as though it's politics to blame for the cancellation of the project and not really the plane itself. About $15 billion was spent and only three were built. Number 5. The Sukhoi Su-47 This supersonic experimental aircraft was designed by the Soviets in the late 1990s by the Sukhoi Aviation Corporation. What's obviously different about this craft than most of you see in the Air Force is the forward swept wings. They're positioned at the opposite angle which increases the angle of sweep. The one main problem with this design is that the wings needed to endure a lot of stress and much maintenance. The positives seem to be quite beneficial however, increasing speed, shorter takeoffs and landing distances and better control. It was unbelievably agile during simulated dogfights to many surprise. This one might have needed wings made from composite and durable materials which was slightly out of the Soviet Union's budget at the time. But with the collapse of the Union, it was beginning to get a little bit too expensive to keep working on. Number 4. The Boeing Sikorsky RAH-66 Comanche Meant to be produced as an armed reconnaissance and attack helicopter, this was meant to give helicopters stealth technology, or so they thought. Two prototypes were constructed and test flying took place between 1996 and 2004. By the year 2000, $3.1 billion worth of engineering and manufacturing had already been spent and heavy changes were needed to be made. It underwent heavy restructuring and many predicted that the price would end up being $26.9 billion after all was said and done. This certainly left many people with doubts. In 2004, the Army announced that they would cancel all the work on the RAH-66 and they felt that unmanned aerial vehicles was the best way to go. Number 3. The NASA X-38 Designed as an experimental crew return craft, these things were built to enter Earth's atmosphere at a high speed and land safely with the help of a parachute or a parafoil. It certainly would have been an extraordinary flight to witness if you were a passenger of one of these things. The X-38 would have been attached to the International Space Station and then sent hurling towards Earth at incredible speeds. In the mid-1990s, NASA had realized that astronauts need a way to safely return back home to planet Earth in case of an emergency like sickness. The landing gear would end up to be more like sleds than wheels, which would allow for it to slide on the ground. Eventually, the X-38 project was cancelled due to funding issues, even though it was already 90% ready to be put to use. Number 2. The Edgley EA-7 Optica This strange aircraft is a lightweight and low-speed alternative to helicopters and is normally used for observation. The project for the Edgley EA-7 Optica began in 1974 when Edgley Company came up with a strange prototype and eventually private investors bought into the idea. It almost looks as if the cockpit is similar to the one you'll find on the helicopters and the rest of it is just kind of an airplane. With only 22 of them being constructed, these certainly haven't been mass produced or anything but they seem like they would be a fairly cool way to get off the ground. It received a mixed review with some critics calling it bug-eyed. And before we get to our number one, do you think the government could use this money spent on all this aircraft for better reasons? 
Let us know in the comments section your answer and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. And number 1. The Scale Composites White Knight This bizarre plane was designed in 2007 to 2010 as a Stage 2 suborbital manned launch system. The plane is multi-operational but is often used at high altitudes. It was considered to be a mothership and would have a parasite aircraft on board which would be detached at the right altitude. The first flight was on August 1st of 2002, but it had to be quickly aborted due to a problem with the outboard wing spoilers. They planned to further test this design and wanted to have it detach a spaceship while it was flying. Still looks pretty cool anyways. 